Silent way is another method of teaching. It's quite interesting in a way that it is quite different from the language teaching which is being done in Pakistan or in other Asian contexts. This method believes that teacher should remain as much as possible silent within the classroom, in a language classroom, whereas students should be encouraged to participate and produce within a language classroom. Uh, this basically implies that a learner should be independent and autonomous in, in a language classroom, which we all know is quite uh, different in a Pakistani context. It also believes in using uh, different aids, for example, color charts or some colored cousinaire rods, uh, which is a technology used in, wa uh, in various parts of the world for language teaching. Uh, and the assumptions on which uh, uh, this method is based on are the following. Number one, we could see it believes that learning may be facilitated if a learner is allowed to discover and create in, in a classroom rather than he is put to repeat or imitate in the classroom. So if you put him to uh, a task or an activity where he has a chance to recreate and discover his own learning and the uses of language, he might learn uh, speedily and more effectively according to the approach uh, on which this silent way method is based. We could also see that uh, this uh, method assumes that learning may be facilitated if it is mediated by other physical objects, by the use of various uh, helping teaching materials and the objects which could facilitate uh, in for example, technology which could facilitate, facilitate the teaching process. Learning is also facilitated if the learners are asked to problem solving uh, activities in the classroom. The approach of learning within this method believes that learners should try and aim to get uh, a grasp over the spirit of language instead of uh, trying to learn its various physical uh, components. For example, the spirit they believe is, uh, is based on various phonological and suprasegmental aspects of a language which provides that language a, its unique sound system as well as its, uh, its music or its melody. Melody is also a key uh, aspect which is uh, emphasized in, in this method. We could see that there are some structural aspects uh, being emphasized in this method as well, uh, but we see the sentence is considered the basic unit of language teaching uh, in this method. We also have, that, uh, have the idea that teacher focuses on uh, propositional meanings instead of communicative meanings, and he makes his students learn language in the and language and its grammar inductively. So there is no clear or obvious uh, rendition of uh, grammar rules in the classroom. Rather, uh, students learn it from the lessons indirectly. Vocabulary is, uh, the, uh, is one of the central dimensions of teaching and learning in a silent way classroom. And within vocabulary, we could see it's the functional vocabulary which is focused more. And the process of learning a second language is believed to be different. Though the proponents of uh, this method believe that there is some kind of mental activity or processing involved uh, in, in the process of learning a second language. However, uh, this activity or mental processing is, is believed to be different from the one which is performed or done in the learning of a, sec of a, of a first language. So the activity which, uh, which is generated within, within learners while learning a second language uh, would be different from the one which is generated in their quest for learning the first language. Uh, overall, this method uh, supports 
an artificial or controlled environment of learning instead of natural where, where teacher controls various aspects of learning. And it also believes in self-awareness which would uh, generate self-correction uh, during the process of language learning among learners. Silence is, is thought to be the best vehicle for learning be because it provides students an opportunity to concentrate on and learning goals and the means uh, how to achieve, which focus on how to achieve those goals. So silence, like in, in, in general, some of the general thoughts of our daily life is believed to be effective uh, for the sake of concentration in, in the process of learning. It, it gives uh, uh, some beginning level learners a chance to develop their oral and oral uh, facilities in, in, in the basic elements of language. And uh, its uh, general goal is to reach near native proficiency, which may not be achieved in all cases, but this is what they idealize. They also focus on uh, the users of this method on, on, on a good pronunciation and the mastery of the prosod prosodic, musical aspects of language. And uh, uh, the knowledge of grammar is usually of a basic level. There are some simple uh, linguistic tasks which are followed in, in this method and which are modeled by, uh, by the teacher most of the times uh, at the level of word, phrase or sentence. Then the teacher uh, asks the students to elicit uh, what has already been introduced to them and their responses actually generate some kind of learning within themselves. Learners create their own utterances and uh, through, through this way, they learn a lot. And in the process, when the teacher expects his students to elicit answers, he could use various charts, rods, and other aids in order to facilitate that elicit elicitation. Overall, this method uh, focuses on making uh, language learners independent, autonomous, and responsible and the teacher uh, he, it expects teacher to be uh, facilitating in, in, in the language activities or a learning process and overall teacher is very important in this method because he acts like a dramatist uh, he not only writes the script he all, also arranges uh, the props he also models the action first he, he presents a sample and then the others uh, follow it and he is also the critic because he is the one who would judge the learning outcome he would decide that the learning which uh, the students are actually making is correct or incorrect <laughs>